All right, so I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs to try to create a layout for a newspaper for the Industrial Revolution uh, newspaper assignment. So what I've already done is I've already gone through my plan, uh, and I've logged in. I've clicked on Google Apps. Uh, it takes me to my Google Drive, and so now I'm here and I'm ready to go. And what I need to do is I, first thing, obviously, is create a new document. So I'm going to click on New, Docs. Here's my sheet of paper. Um, right now, it's just a basic sheet of paper, and it is portrait-oriented, um, meaning up and down rather than side to side. And so I'm going to change those two things. I'm going to adjust the orientation to landscape, and I'm going to adjust the margins to uh, you know, 3 quarters of an inch, or 0.75. So to find those things, I'm going to go to File, Page Setup. Here it is under Orientation. I'm going to go to Landscape. My margins I need to change to 0.75. Let me get all these done for you. 0.75. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. And you can see it's kind of expanded it. It's changed my margins over here for me. And if I look down, it is landscape. Let me zoom out real quick just so you can see that. You can see it's landscape, uh, but I'm going to zoom back in so I can just see everything a little bit better. Okay. Now, to create columns in a newspaper, you know what generally what I want is I want some kind of a big title across the top, and then I'm going to put the rest of it into columns. Um, and so I think the easiest thing to do, because this does not offer a columns feature, is I'm going to use a table. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to table, insert table, and I want to decide first how many columns I want my newspaper to be laid out in. I'm going to go with three for this, and I'm going to use two rows. So I have three columns, and I want two rows. Okay, and so it just puts a table in for me. Um, what I want at the top is I want to have um, that big title, right? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create this big title, and I'm going to call it whatever I want to call my overall newspaper. So this is not the title for my article. It's just the title for my newspaper. Um, you know, what do I want to call it? The Industrial uh, I don't know, Revolution Times, right? So I've got a big title here. I can adjust that, whatever font size I want. I don't know, 48. That's obviously a little too big. Maybe I want to use a different, um, you know, maybe an old-fashioned style here. What would that be? Courier. Oh, God, that's terrible. Um, you know, so pick something. Um, let me adjust the font size. Maybe I need to go down to 30 here. 30, I could probably go a little bit bigger. 36 looks about right. I'm going to bold that. Oh, now it's a little too big. Let's go with 33. No, 32. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to put some kind of a, let me, you know what, I'm going to underline this thing. Uh, here we go. Let me underline that. Okay, and there's the Industrial Ta Revolution Times. Okay, um, and you know what? Here's going to be what I'm going to use for my um, my layout for my article. Right. So I've got a table, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the title here, and then I'm going to have the rest be in my column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click and drag this down. Okay. I'm going to drag it down towards the end of the paper, and if I go too far, what will happen is it will drop this whole row down onto the next page. Whoops, see it's gone? Oh, there it is. So what I have to do is drag it up a little bit so that way I don't have that problem. You can see I dragged it up, and now I've got the whole thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two, and this is where I want my title to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge the cells here so I can get a title. In this first page, it's all about inventions. Um, you know, um, so what do I want to call this article? Four great inventions. Better capitalize that, right? Of the industrial revolution or something like that. It's a title, so I'm going to make it bigger. Right, once again, I'm going to play around with that. I don't know, 24, that's obviously too big. Let's try 20. Yep, still too big. We better go 18. Okay, I'm going to bold this. 
okay um, so there's my title and then everything I'm gonna say now is gonna be in here and in here and then it'll run over into this space what I'm gonna do also because now I have two separate cells here so I'm gonna select both of those click and drag and select them and then I'm just gonna merge those two so now I've got here's my title for the article I'm gonna run all the text here here and here so let's say I'm ready to type boom I'm gonna put some information in here okay um, this is just some random information that I've um, and that, that I've gotten from some other place so you didn't have to watch me write the whole time right and so what happens is if you notice I get down to here and I've, I've got too much right and I don't want it to go on this other side so I have to move all of this so I select it all I'm gonna move it up here okay and it moves everything back up right and so now I've got everything running in that. The other thing is, is normally when you start writing, what you're going to get is it's all going to be left aligned. And notice how it's not even over here. What I like to do is I like to use this justify align option, okay? And that aligns it on both sides, okay? The other thing, just to spice it up a little bit, is I'm going to use what they call a drop cap because this should say Twin Peaks and normally I can get this T to drop down here and be bigger and everything jumps over and it just kind of makes it look a little nicer uh, but it, of course Google Docs doesn't have that feature so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to simply go to Google I'm going to kind of trick it into having a drop cap so I'm going to say drop I'm going to do a search drop cap for the letter T here we go right I'm gonna to go to images I'm gonna find one that's maybe pretty basic I like this one okay so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna copy it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it in here so I just hit paste we could have right clicked and hit paste right um, and it puts it in for me but the problem is it drops everything and leaves me this big old gap and that's not what I want so a couple things I'm gonna re-shrink this down I want it to be much much smaller okay and then the other thing is I need it to wrap I want it to wrap the text okay and I get this problem it jumps all over the place it's another problem with Google Docs so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the margins to 1 16th I want them as small as I can and now I'm gonna drag this down and look where it's put it. So I'm gonna drag it down to here and there it is and you can see that's basically what a drop cap is and if I shrink it down a little bit more maybe I can get it to fit a little bit better but it kind of adds a little to all of that okay um, you'll notice whoops I've got a little extra here I gotta keep adjusting this thing as I, I keep adding stuff I'm gonna put this up here at the beginning okay um, I'm gonna have to keep playing around with it uh, to get rid of that extra stuff down at the bottom you can see hey, maybe I can get another one here uh, let me put that back I guess not so let me undo that put it back up here okay now that's how I'm gonna and then I just keep typing when I get down to the bottom I just click up here and start typing up here and keep going okay I could get an image in there the same way I got this in there go find an image stick it in here readjust it wrap the text do all that kind of stuff now the last thing that I want though are all of these lines and so I gotta get rid of those so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click somewhere inside this table I'm gonna go to table properties and I'm gonna get rid of my table borders okay um, or I can just simply make my table borders white Okay, or I can just set them to zero. Either way, okay, but I click OK and they go away, right? And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see, hey, this is starting to look like much more like a newspaper, okay? Um, and so that's how you would use Google Docs um, to kind of get everything that you need in there. And here's, you know, the, the overall thing. It's pretty basic, but that's what Google Docs kind of gives you.